spotlight we're going to be taking a look at one of my very first tarantulas I ever owned. Her name is Raven and she's a Formiturus concertis, Haitian brown bird eater. We're going to be following um, some days after her molt, up to eight days after her molt, and I take a look at that process and see what she looks like. So let's get started with her here. A little information, uh, if you're a beginner, um, these Haitian brown bird eaters can grow pretty fast. She was a one inch a year and a half ago and she is a five inch lady right now. The growth rate is similar to an LP but not as uh, accelerated. Uh, they, at least mine, I can only speak for my specimen here in this vid. Uh, her uh, growth rate, uh, she takes a little bit longer time in between molts than my LP does. But um, as a beginner, you can handle this tea, uh, not handle as in put it in your hand, but you can handle this tea as far as uh, caring for it. As a one inch, I wouldn't recommend getting one if you're a beginner of this size at five inches. Um, most of them have very nasty uh, temperaments. Mine actually is an exception to that. She is actually very docile and at times, um, you know, I feel like I could handle her. I would never try to handle this lady because in the future her temperament may change and it might be just the day that I handle her that her temperament changes so it's a no-no for me. Um, she actually is not defensive. Uh, she's never thrown a threat posture. Um, as you can see here, the camera is pretty close to her inside of her enclosure. The enclosure, by the way, is a uh, large critter keeper. Um, basic setup with a hide, uh, a little few plants in there. She's uh, very picky about her substrate. She likes it. One half soaking wet with uh, a lot of humidity, the other half bone dry. And if I do one way or another, if it's half, uh, you know, if it's fully soaking wet in there, she doesn't like it. If it's too dry, she doesn't like it. It's actually a little dry in here. Um, usually when I film, I water afterwards so I don't. Uh, piss off the tea and have water droplets all over the enclosure so uh, usually whenever I film here or when I feed uh, half of it's wet by the water dish the other half by her hide is dry um, this is eight days after molting this is her first meal this lady is a true eater obviously it's a Haitian brown bird eater they can eat very well it's a good look at her coloration eight days after molting uh, she displays a lot of brilliant purples and auburns uh, streaking through her uh, carapace there and a lot of pink. The abdomen even has um, some auburn pinkish hairs on there. Legs uh, have a little bit of streaking of bronze in them. Um, these teas are underrated I believe in their beauty. I don't, you know a lot of people think this is just a big brown tarantula. Um, my Pamphobetes fortis is a big brown tarantula. This is not a big brown tarantula at all. This I mean the colors on this tarantula is amazing as you can see here. It's um, truly underrated in the hobby as far as these females uh, and the males just look even better. I mean the males are just insanely beautiful. I was kind of disappointed when I found out this one was female because I just wanted to have a male in my collection with that kind of coloration even for a short period of time. I just you know be able to raise a tee that looks that way is um, it's, uh, it's amazing. but. These teas are great to own. I mean, it takes a while for them to get to look this way, but not as long as you may think. She started getting this coloration maybe uh, around the two and a half to three inch mark. She was starting to get this coloration on her carapace, so it doesn't take long from the sling to uh, this size tea, five inches for it to uh, to, uh, to look this way. Um, again, for you beginners, if you don't know much about these teas, these teas can get huge. Um, some specimens can get up to eight, nine, ten inches long. Um, she's on pace right now to get to around eight to nine inches. I mean, she is absolutely huge. Um, she's slowed down a little bit with her um, with her uh, growing, but I mean, she's getting bigger now, so she's not molting as much. Uh, and her uh, the size difference in between molts has slowed down a little bit, but she is still on pace to be a very big girl. And um, like I said, she's already filling out this large critter keeper, and she was a one inch a year and a half ago. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care. Have a good one.